Hey, it's Coach Kevin Kearns. We're here at level two. And the difference between level one and level two is it's an extension of level two, especially the gas in the tank protocols using different types of equipment, like the body blade, the pure motion air fit, the BOSU, kicking shields, you name it, the, the jump sport, fitness trampoline, boxing, tie boxing drills, any of those drills like that that everybody from mainstream can use because it develops what's called BRAD. Balance, reaction, acceleration, and deceleration. And that really differentiates level one from level two. Is the pad work. The trainers really want the pad work because it's something new and innovative that they haven't done before with clients. A lot of the times, people think pad work, they just think, you know, one, two. It's different. Coach Kern teaches the real way where the fighter is mimicking the pad holder. So this way, one, two. You're training yourself using the muscle memory to bring your hands back. Most fighters will end up out here in a fight, you bring it out here, you're not going to win. Coach Kearns is telling us and showing us that it's more to holding pads than just mechanically holding pads. You have to really move with uh, your partner so that you get the optimum uh, most out of the drill. And we use all these and integrate them to give them a better system, better programming, a different model for gas in the tank, which runs up to 800 pounds at once. I have guys that started out at 380 pounds, are down to right around 300 in the last four or five months just working on MMA conditioning. And there's a lot of things that you can do with people with bad shoulders. Uh, it's a lot of fun things that you can do that may give people a good workout, a good sweat, they can feel a muscle that's working. The body blade experience was intense. It was just incredible. A uh, perfect workout to really take that disassociation of your hands and your feet to the next level. Work your upper body with the ladder. You can do your lower body with the ladder. And, uh, you certainly work your core because of the balance and the way that you're stepping in and out of the ladder. And that leads into professional development programming, into level three, and master coach. Right? So that's sending those people out to do the certifications. And as a school owner, you know, it benefits tremendously my school as far as being able to offer another fitness program that not a lot of people do. There's not a lot of this around here where you can actually say that you're doing MMA fitness. For using it in our schools, what's going to be great because we can take things that we're already doing. You know, we use ladders, but now we can use ladders and blades. We can use ladders and medicine ball. I love the fact that my instructors are here and they're getting more knowledge in fitness because the big part of martial arts is the fit side of it. You know, our goal is to make people fit, so it benefits the school tremendously in, in that regard. That's what we're really trying to do is get more, an army of trainers. You get up to master coach and I guess that's sending them out to do all the certifications as well as me. Because I'm not, can't do this all alone, but how get that end obesity one step, one person at a time. That's where we're going with this. Honestly, this is meant for everybody. Anybody who's sitting on the couch, anybody who's struggling to find a way to deal with their, their impairment, their disability, their backgrounds, knee problems, anything. Anybody can do these things. Hey!